Now for this question we're asked to draw a speed time graph and an acceleration time graph for this car. Now I've already started to draw the axes but what I haven't put on is the unit. So for the speed graph okay we need to have the speed which is in this particular example measured in meters per second and the time is measured in seconds. For the acceleration graph the units here would be meters per second per second and the time well that would be in seconds still. Okay so if we start off then with the speed time graph we're told that the car accelerates uniformly from rest for 20 seconds so if I mark 20 seconds on here say if it's accelerating uniformly it started at rest and it's gaining speed at a constant rate so we'd expect a straight line something like that. So that's our acceleration, our constant, our uniform acceleration. Now once it reaches 20 seconds it then carries on at a, con uh, at a constant speed of v meters per second so this would be v here and it does this for the next 40 seconds so if we add 40 seconds on to this it's going to take us to a point here say so 40 seconds on to 20 is going to take us to 60 seconds and because the car is traveling at a constant speed this will be a horizontal line till we reach this point above 60 and then we're told that it then decelerates uniformly for 10 seconds until it comes to rest so another 10 seconds from the 60 is going to take us to 70 seconds so mark that in as 70 and it comes to rest it decelerates so therefore you're going to have a straight line down here because it's constant deceleration okay well that's our speed time graph drawn and now we have to do the acceleration time graph so if we look at our intervals of time, the 20 seconds here. If we were to project these values down from here, let's just come down there and the 60 will come down there and the 70. Project them onto that axis like so. Well what do we know? Well over the first 20 seconds it was accelerating at a constant rate. So in other words let's just have a horizontal line to display that constant acceleration let's say we just draw it something like that now between the 20 seconds and the 60 seconds the car was not accelerating it was going at a constant speed so there was no acceleration so you'd expect a line something like that on the horizontal axis the time axis and then between 60 and 70 it decelerates in other words it's got negative acceleration and we notice that this acceleration because this was 10 seconds and this was 20 this must be double this particular one only negative so if I went one unit up here I should really go two units down below here you might want to extend these um, dotted lines here down to this point down there and down there that's up to you okay so that would be my acceleration graph and my speed time graph drawn all right